Hey everyone, how's it going? In this video we're gonna try stable diffusion on the P100 690 mining card, the 6GB variant. As you surely notice, it's a fanless card. So for the cooling, I was wondering what I should do. Uh, so first step, I replaced the card as you should do anyway with um, any second-hand card you buy online. And um, for the case, I put it alongside my RTX 2060 Super and I, I at first I tried uh, by doing uh, nothing special I, uh, basically the, the airflow comes from the, the two, um, two fans you see at the bottom of the picture so these are Arctic F12 uh, standard fans and uh, they're running at uh, full speed all the time so I decided to try out like this at first and it turns out that it's enough so probably because the, the card is uh, low power enough and doesn't generate that much heat to begin with but in my case for my use case uh, actually uh, this is enough for for the for the cooling so before we start i want to give a bit more details about the 106 90. Uh, if you're new to mining cards one thing to know is that the usually their pcie bandwidth is uh, is cut artificially cut uh, probably to make sure that uh, it's only used for mining but actually in some cases you can use it for, for other purposes uh, a lot of games actually uh, require uh, high, use, high PCIe usage so basically when you cut down the, the PCIe bandwidth it reduces the performance and in some games uh, quite a lot that depends on what, what type of game so you surely know about the GTX 1060. So basically, this is just uh, the marketing name for a P106 card. And there's uh, two variants of the. There's actually three variants of the P106. So there's the P106 600 with six gigabyte with that's uh, as the similar number of uh, CUDA cores as a GTX 1060. The only difference is that the PCIe bandwidth is uh, is reduced. Uh, and these, uh, there's another variant, is the P1690 3GB and the P1690 6GB, the one we're going to use in this video. So they reduce the, the CUDA cores quite a lot and also the PCIe bandwidth is reduced quite a lot and this is important because uh, in the branch of state, in, in the fork of stable diffusion going to use uh, in order to reduce VRAM usage it's often uh, loads and uploads the um, you know the data it, uh, it requires so uh, at first I was wondering what how it's going to perform since it needs to to do a lot of transfers so we're going to see uh, how it holds up so we're going to perform a quick PCI bandwidth test just show you the huge difference between a gaming card and a mining card so first this is the RTX 2060 Super, so the host device transfer is a 12 GB and device to host is about the same, 13 GB. That's about the same that you get on the GTX 1060. Now for the P10690. As you can see it's the bandwidth is uh, heavily reduced. So it's 0 0.8 gigabyte second for a host device and device host. So for the first part, we're gonna try stable diffusion on the RTX 2060 Super in order to compare it to the P10690. It would be better to, uh, to, to compare it to the GTX 1060, of course, but I sold mine a while, a while ago and the RTX 2060 Super is the, the one I have available for my Linux server. So let's start the test. So we're going to try the prompt painting of a two-headed hydra shooting lasers at a boat with a 512 resolution, square resolution. So in case you're wondering, I'm using the remote SSH plugin 
for the extension for the Visual Studio Code works quite well so I remote uh, access my Linux server this way and um, it's quite handy I think So it's done, it took 1.99 minutes. Let's see the results. Looks cool, but it's not quite what we asked for, but almost. So let's try the P100 690. So exactly the same prompt, the same seed same resolution and open NVIDIA so we know what's running you can check we can check the the graph and the PCIe usage so you can see here the the device to host and host device the usage is quite high and you can notice that the GPU usage uh, drops when it transfers because the transfers is, is slower on the P hundred six ninety. So eventually, it max out the, the PCI usage almost eight hundred uh, megabytes per second. And as you can notice, the temperature stays quite cool. So let's take a look at the time. We can see it took a bit over 11 minutes. So compared to the 1.99 minutes of the RTX 2060 Super, it's about 5.6 times. So since it's different architecture, it's hard to compare, but if we look at the 16-bit capacity of the RTX card, it's about uh, 14 teraflops, and the 32-bit capacity of the, of, uh, of the um, P hundred six ninety. It's about uh, two point three uh, teraflops. So that's about six times. So it's about in the ballpark. If we can compare it like that, speaking of precision, normally with Pascal based GPUs, you should use this parameter precision to full because it doesn't support uh, sixteen bit uh, quite well. So you should get better performance with uh, precision set to full. But in my case, the P hundred six ninety, actually I get worse performance. I uh, it takes about uh, fifty percent more time, something like that. So I was wondering why. Uh, and uh, I took a look at uh, NVTOP while it was running. So let's wait until it starts. Okay, so if you take a look at the data transfers between the host and device, you can notice that it takes longer than when we don't set precision to full. And actually, the, the GPU usage drops to a lower, a lower percentage, uh, and sometimes the, the spikes are are quite big. So you're gonna see in a couple of seconds. So my guess is that uh, without having used the, the, the profiler yet, uh, my guess is that uh, the data transfers are actually double because it uses uh, full precision. 
And since on the on the normal Pascal Bay GPU uh, with uh, you know the 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 full PCIe bandwidth capacity actually doesn't make much difference because it has enough capacity to support it. But on this card where the the capacity is uh, is heavily reduced already, uh, supporting twice the data transfer is actually too taxing and uh, and it's and it, and, and um, it starts hurting the performance. So you can see that the the many uh, many spikes here, so many drops uh, even below twenty five percent, and it's uh, more frequent. So actually setting percentage to full for mining cards uh, hampers uh, the the performance. So again, I didn't profile, I didn't take a look at the code yet, so can't tell for sure, but. Uh, Looking at the NVTOP, this is an indication of what's happening. So that's uh, one thing to take in consideration if you plan to uh, uh, to get a mining card for stable diffusion. If you already have have it, it's worth trying. But if you if you're wondering if you should buy one, that actually depends on the price. So for a P hundred six ninety in Canadian, I wouldn't pay more than fifty Canadian for that. Uh, and uh, yeah, you know, if you 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 consider shipping, including including shipping and uh, all the all the charges, uh, you shouldn't pay more than fifty Canadian for that. Uh, RTX twenty sixty, uh, you can get can get a, a second hand one for two hundred fifty Canadian, depending on you know which store or what uh, where where you are in Canada. But uh, you can. If you take into account that with the P hundred six ninety, you have six six times uh, less uh, performance than RTX twenty sixty super, you should you should pay below fifty Canadian. Uh, beyond that, it's not worth it, especially that uh, you know models will get bigger and bigger, uh, and. Uh, at some point, uh, you, uh, you, will, you will be um, unusable. So it's better to invest in a, in a newer architecture, uh, especially uh, terrain architecture and up where it supports 16-bit precision and also with uh, more VRAM. But if you if you get it for real cheap or some, you, know, you know some miners that wants to get rid of their cards for a, a very low price, then it might, uh, it might be worth it. There's other cards as well as like the P hundred four hundred, which is uh, similar to a GTX ten seventy. Um, it should it should give better performance. That said, you can still have the the, the problem with the PCIe bandwidth because it has the same PCIe bandwidth capacity as the P hundred six ninety. But um, usually, I would uh, stay clear of uh, mining cards unless you have a very good price. So well, that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. If you want me to try other cards or uh, uh, other NDA cards or NVIDIA cards, uh, please feel free to comment down below. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.